My today's topic is again for the business owners. Today I want to talk about the business owners. Right now they're very busy in their business. But what is going to happen when they're not busy? When they are in their late 60s, 70s? So that makes it very easy for you to understand that I am talking about the retirement planning of business owners. Business owners as well as self-employed professionals incorporated professionals you all are running this show on your own your business as i always say is your baby all your time is going towards your business and right now you're doing great right now you're heading towards more and more but the time is going to come when you don't want to be working the time is going to come when you want to retire from the business the time is going to come when the business is going to pass on to the next generation and they'll take over. But your expenses, your lifestyle, that still needs to be taken care of. Right now, this business is paying for you because you're working in it. But the time you're out of this business, still, you need something to pay you. You need the same income. You need something that does not make your lifestyle down. And that can definitely be done if you're planning for it now. If you're planning when you're working right now and you do that planning that whether you retire at age 55, age 60, age 65, 70 or whenever, you still get a lot of money and you're not working. And that planning can be done using various strategies. It's just that these need to be implemented now rather than implemented when you're retired. So I highly suggest you contacting your advisor or contacting me and I can help business owners set up something that their retirement planning is in place. We can use insurance, insured retirement planning, which is what most business owners love because the money you're having right now in your corporation, a portion of it can go towards your retirement planning and you're not paying any tax on that growth because the money is inside the insurance policy. Or you can set up an IPP. There are various ways of doing it. IRP, IPP, you know, and there is um, in, on the individual side, you can do RRSPs. So there are various ways we can set it up. I would definitely recommend each and every business owner and self-employed professional to take some time and look into this planning as well. Feel free to connect with me. I'm Sim Gakhar, 647-889-7290. Thank you.